how to manage a Western relationship. And this is for the guys that you've already decided that you're going to date a Western woman or maybe you're already with her and you want you want to make sure you're doing the right things. And the thing about the Western uh, Western relationships in general is everything is new. That's the thing you got to understand. So if you're accepting that this is going to be your fate, because really the, the best way to manage it is to not be in one. <laughs> but I'm talking to the guys that have already decided, yo, I'm going to do this. I like this girl. want to see where this goes type shit. And everything is new. Every, nothing is going to be traditional. You can't expect it to be traditional. I believe there are Western women that are still able to be in their femininity, but you have to almost demand that. And the way you do that is not by like telling her or forcing her to do anything. It's going to be just being unapologetically masculine. You got to be unapologetically masculine. You have to understand that shit, that Western one you're with right now, you might end up having to leave her or she might end up leaving based on the things that you require or are demanded from her. And that number one thing should be for her to be in her femininity. Now, easier said than done. Yes, I know. Especially because most guys that are getting with Western women don't have the most money. They probably don't have the means to provide 100%. And that's the kicker right there. You can't expect a girl to be 100% in her femininity while also still having to do masculine things like get up and go to work when she doesn't want to and um, any other masculine duties that Western women seemingly want to do nowadays. Now, she's a a boss bitch, like, or whatever they call themselves, like independent type of woman or whatever. She's like that, then it's going to be harder also because now she's in a sp- in a place where she's almost comfortable switching back and forth between masculine and feminine energy because to run a business you're going to be in a more masculine frame that's just what it is if she knows how to s- flip that switch properly and knows when she with you she need to let you hold that energy so you're not having to be also fluid and going into your feminine energy too much, then that's going to be good. But nine times out of 10, she's going to be bringing in that masculine energy home. And that's just what you don't want type shit. Stay into, stay in your masculine frame. You have to make sure she is also able to stay in her feminine frame. And that's going to come through you doing as much of the providing and protecting as possible so she can be that caretaker and nurturer because the reason why we have all of these extra masculine women is because of us I'm not saying race aside um systematic oppression and stuff like that is aside we have to realize the men I mean the women of any race of any culture are gonna follow after the men they're gonna go after what the men want and the men not understanding never really have seen true femininity. They think, okay, because she got hair and nails and makeup, that's a feminine woman, which no, those are the, that's like a feminine mask. Usually you not know saying usually the most feminine women aren't worried about hair and nails and makeup 24 seven. The girls that are smoking black and mouths, rolling up blunts, uh, Drinking heavy, um, all those things, or using words like bro and bruh and stuff like that. Those aren't going to usually be the more feminine woman. And this is about what you want as a man most of the time. Like I was saying, the Western man is usually a more fluid being. He's usually in and out of his masculine and feminine energy. Which, I mean, all men are to an extent, especially if you do live alone. Our cultures usually in our 20s and 30s, we're either living with somebody or we're living alone. We're not um, usually in the West. We don't have that culture of 
oh, I'm gonna stay with my parents until I get married so I don't have to worry about being this fluid being because you still have your mom there and stuff like that or, or women in your family to take care of the feminine activities. But if you live alone, you're doing everything for yourself. And so you're doing the masculine and the feminine. You're, you got to be the main one for yourself spiritually and also the main one for yourself physically, which is going to make you more comfortable being like that. But we got to understand that's the reason why so many relationships are failing because people aren't able to stay in their frame, whether it's through the society or it's just due to nature and nurture and how they were raised, man. So easier said than done. I know the topic was how to manage the Western relationship properly. And I think I outlined that just by saying, stay in your masculine frame, always be willing to walk away. Um, now, don't just walk away when one little problem and shit like that happen. I do think you need to have more of a traditional mindset to where, okay, you have some non-negotiables, you have some things that require her to be exiled, yes. But you can still have things that um, that aren't like, like little petty stuff like that. Usually a lot of breakups are over petty stuff and even a bigger thing, finances. If you can keep those things intact and understand, okay, with the petty stuff, she's a woman, a masculine man, I don't need to take her seriously. I don't need to get down to her level. If she's yelling at me, I don't need to be yelling at her. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm bringing myself down to her level. If it's truly a hierarchy, which traditional relationship, Western relationship, that hierarchy has to be intact for it to actually last and what does that mean that means oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's truly that hierarchy and that hierarchy means okay god man submitting to god and then the woman is submitting to him and then children submitting all the way up if there's truly that type of hierarchy then things should be smooth and run as smooth as possible if y'all are operating through that and y'all are operating within it's just you know, and like I said, it don't have to be God. It can be whatever principles and morals and standards you set for your life. But just like if you want her to be governed by you, you got to be governed by something yourself. And that's not just how you feel and what your flesh wants. You know what I'm saying? So take all those things in consideration. Like I said, stay in your masculine frame be able to provide and protect, be willing to walk away because a lot of them aren't going to be wanting to change. If she's too far damaged, it don't matter how masculine you are and you understand that. And the better, also the better man you you become, the more likely you are that 1% Western man, the more likely you find that 1% Western woman, which with that, you'll have a relationship that seems more traditional still gonna be some new age things involved which you have to understand the times like everything just can't be it could be i guess you can like i said you can go somewhere else but you got to understand the place the time the culture and the fact that you're on your purpose you don't want to be spending so much time worried about a relationship worried about a girl and worried about trying to fix or repair somebody when nine times out of ten you're a young guy you're still on your journey if you're watching this